protecting people and providing a safe and trusted environment for everyone who comes into contact with your charity can be a big responsibility for trustees. But now, there's an easy way to discover the essentials. The Charity Commission registers and regulates charities in England and Wales. We also provide a range of support for trustees, including a five-minute guide full of essential advice called Safeguarding People. It's designed to help trustees protect everyone involved with their charity. It emphasises three principles, the critical foundation for safeguarding. Firstly, that safeguarding applies to every charity, not just those dealing with children and adults at risk. Secondly, that safeguarding concerns the well-being of every person connected to a charity, not just beneficiaries. And thirdly, that safeguarding is the responsibility of every trustee, not just a designated few. The guide also sets out a five-point action plan, which covers identifying risks, what policies must be in place, including how to report and manage incidents, and ensuring that necessary checks are completed for everyone. In short, it provides the essentials that every trustee needs to know and get right. Safeguarding is an ongoing concern that trustees must regularly review and update, and the guide signposts you to further support. Trustees must create and maintain a strong safeguarding culture, one where employees and volunteers, beneficiaries and everyone involved with the charity is safe and has the confidence to report and manage concerns correctly. Reading Safeguarding People will help ensure that effective safeguarding measures are put in place. Safeguarding is about keeping people safe. And there's nothing more fundamental than that. Take five minutes to read the guide and refresh your knowledge today.